Okay, we're going to open up VCarve Pro 8.0. We're going to create a new file. We're going to set up our material size. It is going to be 8 inches wide by 8 inches tall, and the thickness is going to be 3 quarters of an inch. We are going to set our XY datum point position, which is where the home position is registered. We're going to do it right in the center. Our units are inches, and we will create standard uh, fastest modeling resolution and walnut for our appearance. We will click OK, and now our material is set up and ready to go. For this simple demonstration, we are just going to draw a quick star by clicking the Draw Star Create Vectors button. And in the Draw Star menu, you can edit the number of points the star has, where it is going to be placed on the page, and the outer radius. We're just going to hit create, and you can see it shoots a star right in the center. And if we close out, and then go down to, uh, in the transform objects section, go move selected objects, click that, and click your object, and it brings up these nodes around the object, and you can grab them and resize it to however you would like. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And then you can also grab the lines and bring it uh, wherever you'd like on the page. We're going to bring it right back in the center. And then click off, click close. So now that we have our image uh, created, we now need to assign toolpaths to do the operations we'd like with the CNC. So in the far right over here, you click toolpaths. And then I like to click this auto hide so I click it and it'll set it up there so it doesn't uh, continuously move away when you're not using it. So we need to decide what we want to do to this star. We can do a profile, we can cut the inside or outside of that line, we can do a pocket toolpath, we could do a prism carving toolpath, but for simplicity's sake I think we should just do profile toolpath. We'll click this button and now this brings up the 2D profile toolpath. And depending on how you have your workpiece held down, we are going to do double sided tape. So we are going to cut straight through this material at 0.765. Actually, we're going to go 0.76. That should just get us barely through and not uh, screw up our spoil board too much. Now for the tool, if you hit select, it'll bring up a tool database. Now you can add, create, copy, import, export. Uh, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to use the uh, quarter inch end mill that's already in there. And you can see that uh, it's named, it's a uh, end mill, it's a quarter inch. Now here's the cutting parameters. What is the, how much material is it going to remove in one pass? So here it has an eighth of an inch, 0.125 uh, per pass. We can bump that up to 0.25. And step over relates to when you're doing a pocketing tool path. Speeds and feeds, we are going to do 24,000 RPMs. Feed rate, I'm going to stay at uh, 35 and plunge rate I'm gonna go down to 15. Now the speeds and feeds is something that you will develop uh, as your experience increases. There's a lot of calculators and a lot of databases out there for speeds and feeds so I encourage you to check them out. Uh, when you're done editing all these uh, criteria to what you'd like click apply and then click OK. So you can see that we have a quarter inch end mill and we can now decide right here on where we would like to cut it out. We want to cut the outside of it or the inside. We're going to cut the outside of it, so it's going to cut the outside of that star. We're going to go down to here and add tabs. You click Add Tabs to Toolpath, which 
Here you can edit the length of the tool or the tab and the thickness of the tab. We're going to do ours at a quarter inch thick and a half inch uh, in length. And then you hit edit tabs. Oops. We need to select this and then hit edit tabs. And then we'll go up here and click add tabs and it's already placed one tab but I don't like where that's placed so I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna put it right in the middle there we'll put one up here here and there actually well, let's bring these down over to here and then when you have the tabs in the correct position you'd like you hit close and let's name this toolpath outside star profile then you hit calculate and here it brings up a 3d view now you can switch back and forth between the 3d view from the standard 2d here and then 3d and you can use your mouth to angle this and then over here you can preview it so here's the speed so for display purposes I'm gonna slow down the speed and then click view selected toolpath we can see that our quarter inch router bit is going to cut out in the correct number of passes that we set up in our parameters. And you can see there our tabs are being cut in there as well. So now we need to save this toolpath. So we're going to check the toolpath. We'll hit close out of the preview. And then we'll go to the save toolpath button and here you can select your machine that you're using I have a CNC shark and I operate in inches so I will click that and then I'll click save toolpath to file we'll go find our CNC and we will name this outside star profile and we'll click save and now let's head over to the computer and we'll get this cut out